Hello, this is Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this short video, we're going to cover importing items into a purchase order so that you don't have to create super large purchase orders by hand. You can actually do it uh, by importing them. So let's uh, take a look at uh, Finale here from the home screen. We'll go to View Purchases. So I've already created a test import purchase order. So I'm going to go to this purchase order and we're going to import items into the purchase order. Key thing here is the purchase order must be in an editable state in order to be imported into. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go to the action menu and then go to import items, order items. So let's click on that. That's going to bring up the familiar paste here screen that allows you to paste from, uh, say, a copy paste from Excel. So let's go and open up, or before we go to open an Excel, take a look at the columns that we need to look at. So we certainly need a product ID of which we're going to purchase on the purchase order. We would uh, also need a quantity. Now there's a quantity field and a case quantity field. If you are, are going to do a purchase order for open order or open items or eaches, then you would use the quantity field. If you're going to do a purchase order in case quantities, you would use the case quantity field to bring in your order. Now, of course, if you bring in case quantity, you would also might want to be using the packing field if you're going to bring in a new packing, something that's different than the standard packing that may be defined on the product ID. But we'll go over both both uh, scenarios. So let's go look at our Excel sheet. So I've got a basic Excel sheet here. It's got a column for product ID and a column for quantity. So I'm just going to copy these two columns and I'm going to be able to import them into the purchase order. So I'm just going to hit copy, go right here, and we're going to hit paste. So Finale easily recognizes and picks up the product IDs that we wish to order and the different quantities that we're going to order on this purchase order. Just hit next and commit. And look at that. We've got a fully populated purchase order with the category and a description, the product ID that we entered in, and we have over here all of the quantities. Now, if you notice, it came in without uh, a price. So this would be for many reasons. Either we don't have a buy price set up in the database, so it didn't populate with a buy price or we of course we didn't specify a supplier so it wouldn't pull the supplier pricing either now you can import in a price that for which you want to pay on this purchase order so you would just simply add that column to your copy paste so let's go back to the copy paste um, if you look here i don't have a column for unit price so i'm going to unhide that column and here's the unit price. So I could just go ahead and copy this information again and add the price at which I'm going to be maybe paying this into my copy. And then I can come back over here and I can re-import those items with the unit price. So this time I have a unit price that I'm going to be paying for on the purchase order. So I can just do that and I can bring that in. And now the price is there. So let's talk about if you are not ordering in each is or open maybe you're ordering by the case so we would need to specify case quantity instead of a quantity field and also a packing now i know my pack my products here don't have a standard packing so i'm going to bring that packing in as well on the copy paste so once again i can go back to the spreadsheet i actually happen to have the uh, other fields here so i'm going to unhide them here and i've got a case quantity and a packing. So I don't need this quantity field, all right? So I'm just going to hide this quantity field. And I'm now going to bring this purchase order in as if I'm ordering in cases. So I've got my case quantity field, a packing, and the product ID. That's the key. So let's go back. Let's re-import this uh, purchase order. And we're going to use it in case terms now. So now that we paste it, you'll see that it recognizes the case quantity, the packing, the unit price, and so on. So as I bring those in, you'll see that now how Finale is recognizing that these are actually cases, and it also pulled in that pa the packing. So that's as easy as it is to create a purchase order by importing them from an Excel sheet using our very familiar copy-paste 